Hello, family and friends. This is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden. And uh, this video is a little bit in reverse. This is the end of the day for us. We're about to start on dinner and sit down to eat. And I actually intended to do a garden, full garden update on the uh, micro orchards, cut some grass, do some other things. But halfway through the morning, I got a call from a neighbor. He uh, said he had some stuff to get rid of. So we're going to do what update footage we have after this. And then after that, we're going to show you the big thing that we got from him. And from the title, I think you can probably figure it out. And then we'll get to cutting all that grass out there, which is the rain has made it grow, 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 as Grow Family Network likes to say. The Tommy Apple melons are starting to ripen. We've gotten a few off already, and they taste delicious. Super sweet uh, cantaloupe type melon. And we have gotten, uh, I think we've gotten three off. And we've got one, two, three that I can see left. And some blossoms, so we may get a few more in late. But we are definitely pleased with the flavor and the texture. And this is in our big keyhole beds. We've got two of these tight beds. And everything we plant in them just seems to do well. So we may have to do a little bit of saving so that we can uh, buy a few more of these. Uh, they have definitely paid off. Some of the other beds are doing good, but just not. Well, it's hard to say because even these, which we got some... Uh, Red shishi toes over here. I think these are shishi toe peppers. Let's see if I can get my hand down in there. Yep. So some of these shishi toes are turning red. So I may have to do a uh, taste test on these to see if the heat increases once they turn red or if it stays the same because the green ones we tasted were very mild. And got a little bit of everything in this bed, including bees. So we got lots of flowers. We got some uh, moringa in here. We got some eggplant. We got some peas. Yep. We are trying our best to uh, do some intensive planting. Some beds were successful. Some we aren't. It just uh, varies. Uh, these we'll do a better job of next year. We uh, added in some peanuts for some of the plants that didn't do well. But these will actually be getting uh, rearranged in the winter. Once we pull everything out, we're going to empty some of the ones over there and create a space so that we can uh, start uh, another mini project and uh, have room to build it, build around it. And SK1 is doing some uh, deadheading on some of our buckwheat. And one of our friends showed us, one of our YouTube friends showed us a few years ago with your corn, there's a method you can go about to uh, increase the production of the actual corn cob itself. You take out one of these tassels. You go to where your silk is and you just tap the tassel on the silk and that increases the fertilization and produces more kernels of corn. And you don't have to do one silk per tassel. One tassel will fertilize several silks. So that one doesn't have any coming out yet, but 
just uh, one quick thing that you can do to help out production and appearance for your corn. So we're out here in a uh, micro orchard one. We just came from a neighbor's house. Uh, good neighbors, we hate that they're moving, but they're also downsizing. So uh, he asked me to come up to uh, get some stuff he needed to get rid of. So we got a bunch of tools, a shovel, uh, some fertilizer, but the unexpected bounty was two nice, healthy blueberry plants. So I'm not sure what variety of blueberries these are, but last year they got a, a great harvest from them. So we got them about 20 minutes ago, dug them up, and now Sorry about the lawnmower noise. Now we're going to plant them back here in what's going to be our, uh, I guess I should call it a staggered kubel bed, along with our existing blueberry bushes. And here we go. Two nice healthy blueberry bushes hastily put in the ground. We, uh, added some uh, compost surrounded it with mulch and then we put some uh, rubber mulch rings over it uh, the soil over here is plenty fertile we actually <clears throat> put these two where we had two olive trees previously the olive trees in ground did not make it so the soil here was already well fertilized and mixed from when we put those in but the compost is just a big help for uh uh, blueberry bushes so got more errands to run grass to cut and uh, a meal to make so I'm gonna take off as always this is Rob the sapper gardener representing Essence family garden along with my helper SK1 saying God bless our great country America you wherever you reside around the world your garden your harvest your kitchen your meals and your especially your family have health success and prosperity especially during these troubling times take care sap her out and sk one out take care everyone <laughs>